Where's your thing supposed to be? Uh, gym. This way? Yep. Come on. What are they doing? Fastiana, are you Uh-uh, walk. Because I'm on the phone. You guys go oh, ahead. See, that's where they get the, um, mom, you see? Uh-uh. Over there, that's where they get the dinosaurs. Hey, you guys. Sorry about that. It took me a while to get my camera turned around. I am picking up freaking track from school. So, um, my oldest. Hey there. Uh, 224 is all I caught on the end. Sorry about that. You guys know from Scopey with me, I can't see my screen very well. I guess it's just dirty. And this is my husband's phone, so there's no telling. Um, but I am picking up freaking frack. Say hi. hi from school. That's one half of my my crew um you guys give me just two seconds if you're a mom you know how it is you're trying to do multiple things and mommy at the same time and we're going to get into the topic um at hand which is make a decision and then i also had posted another topic on social media and it has slipped my mind but it will come to me once i start talking but um let me get my oldest in here she's trying out for um student council so um she has a meeting to go to and they just got out of school so let me get her inside and then i'll chat with you guys give me just two seconds to get her settled Jayla, i'll be right here okay so you guys can see they're having a meeting for student council um, and my oldest is um, getting her information so that she can get in for student council. So anywho, um, if you can hear me, tap the screen um, because I'm using my headset on my husband's phone. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Um, if you can hear me, put you can hear me or tap the screen. But um, the topic that I'm going to talk about briefly here is making a decision and not with that. Um, why it's important that you make a decision now. You cannot get stuck and caught up in shoulda, woulda, coulda and what you wanna do for your business. Hi there, MDJ1978. Um, if you can hear me, tap the screen or if you can't hear me, type it in and let me know because I'm on a different phone. So hopefully um, you can hear me okay. My lips are moving, can you hear me? Um, <laughs> go ahead and tap the screen, but um, go ahead. Um, yeah, we're talking about making a decision and why it's important that you make a decision now for your life and business. Um, so many times we get caught up in preparation and doing all these steps and trying to get everything perfect before we launch our business or before we uh, make a move in life that we've been wanting to make. It could be a vacation. It could be um, uh going on um, an excursion that you've been wanting to do. It could be trying something new, a new restaurant, even something as simple as that. There was a guy, um, I believe it was in the New York Times, and sorry about the lighting, and he um, had saved up his money so that he would be able to go to this very high-end, very expensive restaurant. And they dogged that man out so bad on social media because he showed his plate of food that he purchased. And for the normal, typical, everyday American um, that did not look like a proper way to spend his two, I think it was 225 plus dollars, uh, plus a good tip um, on something so trivial as a restaurant. And you know, <laughs> those restaurants where they give you the nice big fancy plates and they plate it all nice and present it to you very well, but the food's kind of small. Um, so it was one of those type of deals, which, um, you know, who cares? That's how he wanted to spend his money. He made a decision that he was going to save his money up enough so that he could go to this restaurant, enjoy the service that I'm sure was five star spectacular. He was going to enjoy the food that he desired to have and he was going to enjoy just the experience. And he decided he wanted to do that. So he made a decision and took action to make that happen. His action was saving that money, putting it to the side so he could save up the money to go. And he did that. And he, you know, presented it and they made a big deal about it. Um, it got into one of the big newspapers, a big um, uh, company, I think it was New York Times and or Huffington Post, one of those. And I mean, people run, just drug him through the mud. How could you spend that much money? I could have went to Dairy Queen 20 times with the amount of money that you spent. So what? 
That was his decision. But at the end of the day, the lesson from that is because he made a decision, all of those people that were saying what they could have did, what they should have did, what they would have did if they were in his position. Guess what? They'll never know until they make a decision to do something that they want. In order to have something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. I don't know who that quote is by. We hear it so often, but it's true. If you want to have something or an experience or a business or something in your life that you've never had, you have to make a decision. And I keep saying make a decision. So let me break it down to why I keep saying make a decision, because that just seems so uh, trivial and so plain. But making a decision basically puts you in a space of I should have, could have, would have or I'm going to or I did. Now, shoulda, coulda, woulda, we all know that's, you know, wishes and hopes and dreams and nothing wrong with dreaming, nothing wrong with hoping, but you have to have action behind it. You cannot have anything happen. Momentum loves motion. So you have to be moving. You have to be taking action in order to make whatever it is that you want to happen. And so um, in making a decision, you have the decision, you have the maybe, and you have the I don't know, or just plain no. So... If you say maybe or I don't know, that puts you in a place of limbo, which is unbalanced, it's unhealthy, and it just leaves you in a place of um, insecurity, which is a turns into an emotional thing. So then you get all in your emotions, all in your feelings, thinking, what if I do this or what if I do it and it's wrong or what if I do it and it's not the right decision? So what? You have to make a decision. So then you get to the place where what if I say no and it turns out that I should have said yes, then you have learned a lesson. You learned that by saying no to this process or this thing, X, Y, and Z was the effect or the the consequence of that. So be okay with making a decision and be okay if that decision is no. And if that decision is no and it doesn't turn out the way that you thought it would or the way you thought it should, then you have to be okay with that. But you can't live your life in limbo. You'll never accomplish anything. If you're an indecisive person or you wait on other people to make decisions for you, you're either going to always end up regretting the decision Because you didn't do it or you never know, you'll you'll end up wondering what if. And that is a terrible way to live. The what ifs. You don't want to live your life in what ifs and then die and say what if. There was a big study done, um, I think, by a nurse or a physician. And they were just saying basically they talked to um, a lot of older geriatric, um, older patients that were on their deathbed, basically in hospice or um, just terminally ill. And they were going to be dying, you know after a certain amount of time and sorry if it's morbid but this is just the 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 truth of the story um and they polled these people they asked these different um people these different patients you know if you could have done anything different in your life if you could have um done anything better or changed anything what would it have been and they said a great majority if not all of them said i would have done more i would have lived basically i would have took more chances it's basically how they said it Don't live your life in if. Don't live your life on shoulda, coulda, woulda. Don't live your life only to get on your deathbed wondering what if or I wish I would have. Make a decision. Somebody right now is trying to make a decision between starting a business, waiting to the new year to start, waiting to next month to start, waiting to the end of the month, waiting to the end of next year. Somebody's saying, oh, after tax season, I'll be able to do X, Y, and Z. After um, I get my 401k, I'll be able to do X, Y, and Z. After I retire, I'll be able to do X, Y, and Z. After the kids graduate and go off to school, I'll be able to do X, Y, and Z. Sorry about that noise. Um, everybody, some, somebody is, is literally waiting to live their life on when, when something happens. Well, something's always going to happen. That's just it and that's all. You can't wait on stuff to happen. Something's always going to happen. But it's a matter of what you're doing while life is happening. You have to make a decision. Do not get stuck like a deer in headlights wondering, should I go? Should I stay? Should I stand here and get ran over? You have to make a decision. Do something with your life. Do something with your business. Because the worst that could happen is it doesn't work. And that's not the end of the world. But we get so fearful and so stuck in rejection rejection is bad rejection is is not good nobody wants to be rejected heck it's not very many things that bother me at this point in life but I don't like rejection but it's a good lesson uh learning tool it teaches you good lessons rejection teaches you what you could have did better or said better to get that sale or said better to um uh, connect with that person or what you could have did better um to make the outcome more profitable or to make the outcome easier 
it, it gives you lessons. So rejection is not the end of the world. And it's not something that you should get so caught up in um, happening to you that you just completely give up and say, oh, well, well, <laughs> I'm just not going to do anything because rejection is evident. You have to live your life and you have to do what needs to be done in order to make things happen. As they say, make shift happen. Make some shift in your life. Stir up some shift. Make something happen that means something. That's a value that you can look back and say, I did that with no regret. Whether it turned out good or bad. And the answer is not always going to be yes. If the answer is no, that's okay. No is okay. But at least you made a decision and you're not stuck wondering what if. Should I? Could I? Would it have been better if I? Make a decision, be okay with your decision, and move on with your life and your business. And you will never be able to look back and say, oh, if only I had a, or 20 years down the line, I wish I would have. JL? 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 Um, sorry about that. She ran way across the playground (laughs) way over there she was further than that um but yes so you know make a decision hey there Ro um make a decision to do what you need to do to make shift happen in your life do not get stuck in being indecisive confused and wondering um is it okay stop asking for permission whose permission do you need for the most part you're an adult you're over 18, you're over 21, you're legal. There's more kids out there doing things without even thinking about the consequences um, and not even negative things, but they're just living life. And they're just doing what they got to do. I see you. They're just doing what they got to do because they don't know about the rejection. They don't know about fear. When a baby gets up and starts trying to walk, they don't know about falling and breaking the bone or falling and scratching themselves up. Okay, that's a little dramatic. They're probably not going to break a bone. But they don't know about that. They just know that something in me is telling me I need to get up and try to walk. And so they do it. And when they fall down, they get up and they do it again. They fall down, they get up and do it again. For the most part, I've had three babies. I've seen two of them learn to walk. And I've never seen them cry when they fall down from trying to walk. They fall. They look at you. What do I do now? Oh, I get up and try it again because we're pressuring them. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. And we're looking for that as an adult. As an adult, you don't get somebody to tell you, come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. You have to know you can. And even if you don't know, take a chance on yourself because nobody else is. Nobody else is down there clapping and saying, come on, you can do it. Come on, walk towards me. You don't have that as an adult. You learn those things when you were younger. Those are instincts that are already in you. So do what you need to do. Get up off your tush. Take two steps forward. If you fall, get up and do it again. Rinse and repeat. So make shift happen. Make a shift happen in your life. Make a decision. Be okay if that decision is no. Be okay if you make a decision and it turns out to not be the best decision. But you will not have to look back and say, what if? I should have. I could have. What if I would have? You'll be able to say, I did it and I lived my life with no regrets. You won't end up as those patients did in hospice saying, if I could turn back, this is what I would have done differently. You don't have to worry about that being an option for you. So that's my scope for today. I will be back on again tomorrow is Friday. I will be back back on tomorrow and it'll probably be later in the evening like this as well um, with a new topic. So. If you have not already connected with me or if you want to learn more, go to mommyfreelance.com and you can join our mailing list there. And um, we'll be sending out some information in just a few days um, regarding our upcoming launch for Mommy Freelance. Um, And there's also a welcome video on the website where you can see what we're about. We are a four tier platform um, on continued education. Okay, I'm coming. That's my oldest. Come on, JL. That's my oldest telling me to come in for the meeting. Come on. Um, so, uh, yes, mommyfreelance.com. And if you need to contact me before then, there's emails available. Um, or you can call us on our 1-800 number. Okay. I love you guys for watching. Trust God and love yourself. Bye-bye.